So in this problem, you have to simplify this expression. So you have a square root x and then again you have a square root of x and then again you have a square root of x and this divided by x. You have to simplify this expression. So now to simplify this expression, you can use different rules of exponent. If you remember, we have one rule that is if you have root a, then this can be written as a raised to the power 1 by 2. So this rule I will use. So if I use this rule, I can say this numerator will be root x times root x and this root x last one can be written as x raised to the power 1 by 2 using this rule that we just said and this divided by x. Now the next rule is if you have a raised to the power m times a raised to the power n this can be written as a raised to the power m plus n. So if I use that, I can write, so this will be simply root x and this is x raised to the power 1 plus 1 by 2 which is equals to 3 by 2. So this is x raised to the power 3 by 2 and this divided by x. Now once again, root x can be written as x raised to the power 1 by 2. So if I use that rule, so I will write, so this is equal to this is equal to and then you can further write denominator will be same and this is x and this is x raised to the power 3 by 2 so this is I am using this formula and raised to the power 1 by 2 so square root can be converted as raised to the power 1 by 2. Now I have another rules in the exponent that is a raised to the power m raised to the power n this can be written as a raised to the power m times n. So now let us apply this rule. So I will have, so in the denominator I will have 1, uh, x and in the numerator we will have x and x raised to the power 3 by 2 multiplied by 1 by 2. So this is what? So this is a square root of x times x raised to the power 3 by 4 and this divided by x. Once again you can add the power here you have 1 here you have 3 by 4 and if you add then this becomes a square root of x times 3 by 4 plus 1 that is 7 by 4. Now once again if you use this formula that is root a can be written as a raised to the power 1 by 2. So if you use that, what I can say? I can rewrite this thing x raised to the power 7 by 4 raised to the power 1 by 2 and this divided by x. And once again, if I apply this formula that is a raised to the power m raised to the power n is equals to a raised to the power m times n. So this becomes x raised to the power 7 by 4 times 1 by 2 that is 7 by 8. And this divided by x. Now the last rule I can use a raised to the power m divided by a raised to the power n. This is simply a raised to the power m minus n. So this will become x raised to the power 7 by 8 minus 1 because here I have x raised to the power 1. So this is x raised to the power minus 1 by 8. And this can also be written as 1 by x raised to the power 1 by 8. So this is the solution for this problem. So finally, simplified version of this will be this. So I hope you enjoyed this video and if you enjoy, please share with your friends, like to this video and subscribe to my channel. I will see you in the next video. Thank you.